Happy International Zine Month! Today is day 28 and the prompt for today was stitch. For me, that meant indulging in one of my craft hobbies. And today we're going to be stitching a little sloth. So first you want to gather all of your materials together. You're going to need two to four different colours of felt sheet, threads that match your felt colours, a sewing needle, scissors and stuffing. And then some optional things you might need is a ribbon or brooch backings, stick on crystals or googly eyes and any other decorations you want to add to your little sloth. So for your first step, you want to cut out the template pieces that I've added into the scene. When you're cutting out the fabric body pieces, remember you need two pieces. You need to flip the template so the body pieces will align when you stitch them together. So essentially, you want two opposites of the same side. Once you have all the templates cut out, you can move on to step two. Here, you're going to draw around the templates onto your fabric. Remember to draw onto the back piece of the fabric so you can't see the pen lines on your finished piece. I used a Posca marker pen, but you can use fabric pens or Sharpies or anything that's going to transfer onto your fabric. When all of the templates have been drawn out onto the fabric, you can move on to step 3 and cut your fabric. I find that using fabric scissors really helps with this step, but ordinary scissors will do. For the body pieces, you can also line them up together and make sure that you've got them accurate by snipping around any bits that are a little bit off. Next up, we need to stitch all of the small sloth elements onto the front body piece, using a running stitch for all of these pieces. I'll leave a link to a tutorial in my description below for a running stitch if you don't know how to do that. Step 4. First, stitch the eye markings onto the main face piece. My little face is purple and my eye markings are blue. Ideally, I would have used a blue thread to stitch on my eye markings, but I didn't have any, so I used purple. I think it worked out okay in the end. Once you've stitched on your eye markings, you can sew a cute little smile and a tiny dot for the nose with a thread colour that contrasts your face piece. I used black. Moving on to step 6, once you've completed this, stitch the face piece onto the body. Line it up how you want the little face piece to sit on the body. And then once you've done this, you can stitch your little heart detail onto the sloth. You can then move on to step 7, and this is the last pieces you want to stitch on, which are the sets of claws. You want to stitch them to the ends of the arms, and remember that they will sit snug in between the two body pieces. As an optional step, you can stitch on your ribbon or brooch piece onto the sloth. I used a rainbow ribbon, and I stitched it between the two hands, so it looks like my little sloth was hanging off a rainbow. Step 8. Now it's time to stitch the body pieces together and stuff your sloth. You want to use the blanket stitch to sew up the body pieces, and again, I'll leave a link in the description below to tutorial for the blanket stitch if you don't know how to do it. When stitching the body pieces together, it's helpful to start at the neck corner of the sloth and work your way around. Once you come to the next end of the neck and the head is still unsewn, you can move on to step 9 which is to stuff your sloth. I use cotton balls and I use the end of a paintbrush to work the stuffing into the smaller arm pieces and ensure the whole sloth was filled. You can use any stuffing you want, I just used cotton balls because it's what I had in the house. Be careful not to rip the stitching as you do this step. Finally, we can move on to step 10. Once stuffed, you can stitch up the rest of your sloth. And it's done! That's it! Ta-da! You just stitched a sloth with me. This is my little sloth. What do you think of this cutie? I still need to name this little guy, so drop me a comment down below and give me your names. It's a tad odd for me that, as an artist, I use different forms of art to help me unwind. A lot of my hobbies involve some form of art or craft. In this instance, I use stitching as a means of stress relief. I'm no expert in this craft, but I find it beautifully relaxing. I quite often buy kits to make little sewn creatures from, but with the making of the zine, I realised it was just as easy, and a lot cheaper, to make my own patterns. And it was also a lot more rewarding. In the zine, you can stitch together a teeny tiny adorable little sloth figure. I want to use my future downtime to make more of these little fabric decorations, as well as making more of these zines, so do stay tuned for the future. 
Maybe I'll bring out an actual full-length magazine full of little stitched animals for you to create with me. But for now, I hope you enjoy this adorable little sloth. Once I stitched them all together, I got on to making my zine. I did it digitally in Photoshop and then printed out some copies and folded them and popped them into my store. So if you want to make your own little sloth, do pop down to the link in my description below and buy your own copy of Stitch. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more art content from me, do hit that subscribe button. And that's all from me for today. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!